And White it winding. And a one-two pitch is hit right side and into right field for a base hit, the 21st base hit of the season for Chandler Lynn. And he does it on the one-two pitch, so his fourth two-strike hit of the season. Last year, he had 22 hits and 73 at-bats, and that was his 70th bat this season. He's hit a double, a triple, scored 19 times, and driven in nine runs. And Musselman winding, and the curveball is tapped to Chase. Musselman will underhand the ball over to Alex Gordy for out number one. Chase has started off the game with four straight strikes. Second pitch popped up in the air, left side. Brock Harrison, the shortstop, drifting out into the outfield grass and moving to his right to make a kind of difficult one-handed catch. A lot of movement. Had a reach with the glove, had his left fielder Cody Cortez coming from behind, but Brock has done a great job at short this year, handled it easily, and so two up and two down in the scoreless game. Chase winding with the 0-1 pitch, and the breaking ball is fouled off. So another pitch in the zone. Chase so far, facing his third batter, has not thrown a ball. Two outs, nobody on base. Nothing at two. Hit up in the air to right field. Trey Cloud coming in. About seven steps, makes a catch, and that's out number three. And Musselman does something very unusual. Faces three batters and does not throw a ball and gets them three up and three down. We played one. No score between the Toombs County Bulldogs and the Vidalia Indians on Y101. So he's down to the count, one ball, two strikes. Bulldogs have one hit so far. Up by Chandler Lynn, there's a hard hit ball. Glove by Riley Powers, diving toward the third base bag. Bryce hit it hard, and Riley laid out and made a spectacular catch, robbing Bryce of probably extra bases. Is at Bryan County, which is simply amazing. There's a ball hit high and deep into left center field. Chandler Lynn on the run toward the fence. The ball is off the base of the fence, and Ty Daly is racing to second with the Indians' first hit. It's a double. But they used him as a pinch runner late in the game. Here's a one-two pitch. Curveball's hit up in the air to right center field. Chandler Lynn on a long run, catching the ball, stumbling but he covered a lot of ground. That ball could have easily dropped in the gap, but Chandler ran it down in right center field. Great play. 1-1 pitch is hit up high in the air. Chandler Lynn going back. Think he's got room. He does. Makes a catch. Two down on a well-hit ball. Indians on first and second. Two down, scoreless in the bottom of the second. Bryson hitting 298 with a 450 on base percentage. Here's the pitch, line left side into left field. Here comes Daly around third. Here comes a Cortez throw, and it's way offline as it was not cut off, and a run scores on the base hit by the pitcher Whited, who drives in his sixth run of the season. And Daly scores, and that makes it 1 0 Vidalia. So the Bulldogs took the lead on Monday, 1-0 in the first. The Indians take it 1-0 in the second. There's a bouncing ball, took a tough hop off Gordy's hand. Runner stumbling, coming around third. Trey Cloud is going to throw to second base. The ball gets away. The Indians will score another run on that error and take a 3-0 lead, sliding into third. And he is safe as Garrett Gillis. So the Bulldogs had a bad hop over there on the first base side. Gordy, was, of course, was trying to field it with the glove, but wound up reaching out with the hand. And then after that, Cloud threw to second. The ball got away. That allowed an Indian to score. And now Vidae has taken a 3-0 lead. Next week, the Bulldogs are off from region play. They're just scheduled to play one game on Thursday at Blackley. And then the final week of the region schedule will be matchups against Swainsboro, with the Tigers having the home field advantage. 2-2, bouncing ball, Brock Harrison goes to a knee, feels it, throws to first base, and bouncing to Gordy, and away, and a run scores. And Vidalia has put up a four spot here in the bottom of the second. 
Next pitch is hit up in the air and a very shallow left field. Cody Cortez runs to foul territory and makes the catch very close to the line in left field for out number three. But it turns out to be a good inning for the Indians and a bad one for the Bulldogs and their defense as they yield four on four base hits possibly, maybe three depending upon scoring. Badalia leading four nothing after two innings on Y101. Cordy hitting 190 this season with a 292 on base percentage. Four base hits total as he swings and hits it bouncing into left field for a base hit. So his fifth hit in his sophomore season with the varsity. He also plays a lot of junior varsity ball. All right, question number two. Who pitched a no-hitter at Jackie Jones Field against the Vade Indians? And he was totally dominant on this particular night, for sure. 1-0 pitch, hammered right side into right field, in for a base hit. Coach James will hold the runner at third. Good thing he did. Indians hustled it in quickly to the cutoff man, the first baseman, Michael Blunt. So Chandler Lynn is two for two. Cole, a right-handed hitter and a senior stepping back in. At one point in time this season, he had a 12-game hitting streak. Trying to come through with a big hit here. Swings and hits it hard into left field, but right at Bryce Davis for out number three. He smoked it, but unfortunately, right at the Indian left fielder, and the Bulldogs will leave the bases loaded on a couple of hits and a walk here in the top of the third. They still trail 4-0 as we take a break on Y101. All right, the answer, who pitched a no-hitter against Vidalia? It was Javette King who struck out 10 and walked two, retired 18 of the final 19 Indians. Here's a ball hit into center field to Chandler Lynn. Smoked but caught by the Bulldogs sophomore for out number one. He actually retired 14 in a row at one point, and the Bulldogs won that game 6-1. to one. Dally with two hits and four trips against the Bulldogs this week is a freshman left-handed DH. And swings and hits this ball up high in the air to left field. Cody Cortez with room, drifting to his right, catches the ball, two down. There's a curveball hit in the air to left field. Chandler Lynn running, stopping, and catching the ball for out number three. So there have been a lot of fly balls in this ball game, and in fact, Chandler Lynn has already caught four through three innings. We'll answer the question when we come back. The score is Vidalia four and Toombs County nothing headed to the fourth on your home at Toombs County Sports Y101. And here's a wind up of the full count pitch. Lined into left center field for a Bulldog base hit. Dalton Lynn stroking his 23rd hit of the season. The answer is nobody won the game. It was 4-4, it was the bottom of the seventh. It started raining here and it wouldn't stop and it got really wet. Hey, bunts a high pitch. Bryce Deloach with the ball. The third baseman throws to first and the dogs get the out, but the runner's down to second on a very effective sacrifice bunt. The game is still sitting out there at 4-4 in the seventh. It needs to be finished. Here's a ball hit hard and deep to center field. Back goes Chandler Lynn. He makes a catch, and now he tosses it into the left side of the infield. Chandler catching his eighth ball. The Indians are hitting them hard today. Missed inside. Jeremy, the former Bulldog, has been assigned to the Mobile Bay Bears of the AA Southern League. He'll be the game one starting pitcher tomorrow night in Mobile against Pensacola. High fly ball into right field. Trey Cloud coming in, catches the ball, and that is out number three. That's it for the Indians. A single, a sacrifice bunt, and a runner left in scoring position. We have played four. It's Vidalia four, Toombs County nothing as we break a Y101. He was a three-sport athlete. That's a hint. One, two, call strike three, inside edge. That, believe it or not, is, let me make sure, yep, the first strike out of the day for Chase Musselman. And the sophomore winds, 
Chopper, left side of the infield. In comes Brock Harrison to field the hop and throw to first base, and he got him. So two up and two down. And Vidalia leading 4 nothing. bottom of the fifth. Here's a ball hit into the air to center field. Chandler Lynn drifting back with plenty of room. Catches the ball in right center field. Four out number three. So Musselman has retired six in a row and a three up and three down. Bottom half of the fifth for Chase. We're headed to the sixth. Vade is still leading four nothing as we break on Y101. Cole Graham, Bryce Deloach, and Cody Cortez at the plate. Cole has flied out to left field both times. He's been pulling a lot of balls against Bryson Whited. So now he steps in with the lights on at Greg James Field. First pitch and he hits it to the third baseman, Riley Powers. He smothers the ball, gets up, throws to first, and got him. Fine play. That's his second gem of the day. The first time he reached out and caught a scorching liner diving toward the third base bag off the bat of Bryce Deloach to lead off the second. And here in the sixth, he dove, kept the ball near his body, he didn't field it cleanly, but got up and had time to throw out Cole Graham. Cortez taking a pitch inside, two balls and no strikes. Bulldogs down 4 nothing, top of the sixth. They won the Monday game 7-1. Cole Graham pitching them to a win. Cody Cortez swings backside and strokes a base hit. So Cortez with a two-out base hit. The Bulldogs fifth off Whited today. Here's the pitch. Lined into left center field. Dalton Lynn is going to be robbed of a base hit by Garrett Gillis, who lays out in left center field and makes the catch on a ball that was sinking to the ground, and Gillis snatched it up for out number three. That was a fine defensive play. So that's it for the Bulldogs in the top of the sixth. A base hit by Cortez, and he's left it first. And we're going to the bottom of the sixth with the Indians still leading 4-0 on Y101. 1-0 pitch. Chops it right side. Alex Gordy, the first baseman. And he runs to the bag and records out number one. Here's a fastball hit up in the air to left field. Cody Cortez on the run, Chandler Lynn on the run. Chandler's gonna take control of it, cross in front of Cody and catch the ball as he just covers so much ground out there. So two down, right-hander versus right-hander. It's Blunt, bat seventh in the Indian order, entered the game at a 291 average and he swings and misses. Had a fastball up and probably out of the zone. And that is strike three. So the walk doesn't hurt the Bulldogs. They strand the runner in scoring position. But now they head to the seventh inning. And they're down 4 nothing as we take a break on your home uh, Bulldog baseball, Y101. First three times up, single, double, single. Swing and a miss with a curveball that gets away. Hughes Graham throws down to first. And the Indians win game two, 4 to nothing. And the Indians came out and played a fine game today. And as all coaches say, sometimes you just got to tip the cap to the other guy because today the other guy did it. So now the series is even at one and one with game three tomorrow. And that should be very interesting. If you're not too busy, you might want to drop by Jackie Jones Field. Game time at six o'clock for game three between the Bulldogs and the Indians on rivalry week. Both teams are shaking hands. They'll see each other in a little less than 24 hours. We'll take a break on your home of the dogs, Y101.